Morning world, it's the 1st of May. It's about 6 o'clock, 6.30 in the morning, uh, Northern New York State time, Eastern Daylight time. In a few hours time I'll be in New York City and uh, then I suspect my videos are going to have a different tone about them. I'm going to be getting into what I call serious eschatology. So I've got a few lectures coming up in the next few days and I've got to get my stuff sharpened on that one. But for the morning, it's a beautiful day here in upstate New York. It's warm, beautiful scenery, beautiful people. I owe a lot of thanks to the people of New York for looking after me so well. Thank you in advance. Mercury in the sky is opposite Saturn right now. The moon's at about, I don't know, 10 degrees of Libra. Because a 345 triangle in the sky. Uh, a few people have asked me to comment on one or two patterns that are coming up. There's these two patterns that aren't normally recognised in astrology. There's the 345 triangle and the yod. I'll look at the yod another day. But the 345, it's when you get three planets in a square, a trine, and an in conjunction. That's an angle of three signs with a square, 90 degrees, four signs with a trine, 120 degrees, and five signs with an in conjunction, 150 degrees. And it's a bit of a weird one because it is a 345 triangle, a right angle triangle in the sky. And the angle between the planets is square is generally quite a difficult one. In this case, today, we've got the Sun squaring Jupiter. Sun's at about 10 degrees of um, Taurus, squaring Jupiter at about 13 degrees of Leo. Any contact between the Sun and Jupiter brings in growth and expansion big time. But when it's a square, there's the tendency for over-amplification, over-exaggeration larger than life, over the top, mountains made out of molehills, especially when it's in fixed signs like it is today, because the fixed signs are not the most flexible of signs, and when it's a square between the Sun and Jupiter, there's a tendency for um, determination and resilience, but also stubbornness and dogmatism. However, this should, should be kind of cancelled out, because um, the Sun is also trying Trining? Yeah, the sun is trining Jupiter, uh, trining Pluto, I'm sorry, in, in Capricorn. Pluto in Capricorn's not been my most favourite planet over recent years, but at the moment, now that it's the Uranus Pluto square is beginning to fade away, it's on the receiving end of some rather nice energies. A trine to Pluto from the sun in a natal chart is going to give a degree of psychological depth and stamina and insight. So when you put that in the sky, it's going to create a day where no one's really going to be able to pull the wool over other people's eyes. There's not going to be any sort of big deceit today. It'll be quite, everything will be transparent. With the sun trying Pluto, yes, there'll be psychological depth and insight available for everyone to see. With the sun square Jupiter, some situations may get a bit over the top. But then you have to look at the in conjunction between Jupiter and Pluto. Five signs, and in conjunction, it's an itch you can't scratch, it's a niggle, it's a frustration. It's a thing that says you can't quite deal with it because it's not big enough to deal with, but neither is it too small to ignore. And when you've got the two brothers, Jupiter and Pluto, having a little bit of a ding-dong about it, it's like two bits of sandpaper going up against each other. But when it's two big planets like that, then it's much more likely to manifest at the global level in a way that's political or economic rather than personal. So I would expect today and the next few days to see a few political snarlings going on with various political parties or political systems having a go at each other saying that my economy is better than your economy. But it's only going to be posturing. It's not going to be a big deal. There may be some econo economical differences uh, and, and uh, political stances being shouted at each other over the coming few days. Indeed, in Britain we've got a general election in a week. And it's pretty obvious who's going to win that from the word go. Uh, so today's one of those days where with that 345 triangle, there will be a sense of uh, gnawing, frustration and irritation. I want to get things done, but there will also be a sense of resilience and determination. And hopefully, because it's Jupiter involved, humour as well. Moon's at about 10 degrees of Libra. By tonight I'm going to be in a place called Hell's Kitchen in Manhattan for eight days. 
I'm really looking forward to being in Manhattan again and seeing a lot of people. Um, and as of tomorrow, back to normal. In the meantime, have a great day. Catch you later. Bye.